All right, guys, so now I'm about to do advanced up yoga practice. Super excited for this one. Uh, just so you can get a little inspiration if you're new to sup yoga or if you've been practicing yoga or paddle boarding for a while and you're ready for a challenge, try some of this. But I always recommend watch first. It really does help to see somebody doing it and then try it for yourself. And remember, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. So keep at it and I hope you have a good time. Namaste. So starting the advanced sequence, so starting at the front of the board, inhale, arm sweep out and up, interlace the fingers above you, and then exhale, bow forward, and palms go down to the board, forward bend. So in forward bend, you're opening up the hamstrings, and now we're gonna step the left foot all the way back. What we're gonna move into is a side angle pose. So the right knee is 90 degrees, and the left leg is extended all the way back. The left foot is perpendicular to the right foot. Now you take the, the right hand, diagonal and use your right shoulder to stabilize your right knee. So you're going to extend the left arm up to the sky, breathing into the hips, breathing into the hamstrings, and then if you can, inhale, rising up into a warrior two position. So warrior two, your arms are extended out. The hips are nice and low and 90 degrees at the knee and the front leg. Left leg is straight, breathing, balanced, focused, heart open, mind is clear. Then windmill the hands down to the board, step the right foot back, plank position, nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulders back, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward dog. So we'll try a little more advanced version of downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up, lengthen as you ground into the left foot. Beautiful breath here, long spine. And Lift that right leg high as you can. Downward dog splits. And slowly lower the right foot back down. Always like to stay a little longer, really nice. Inhale, left leg up. Hold as much as you can. You know, this is, it's a balance, it's core, it's flexibility. You're working your, your whole body here at the same time, grounding into the palms, stabilizing and Really feel that connection to the water element, to the breeze on your skin. On your next breath, left foot steps forward between the hands. We're coming into that same side angle. Left knee is 90 degrees, left hand diagonal. So use your left shoulder to stabilize your left knee. Right arm up to the sky. Deep cleansing breath here. Balanced, breathing. And then when you're ready, we're gonna rise into that warrior two. So that standing balance, the arms are gonna open wide. Left knee stays bent, 90 degrees, and the back leg is nice and straight, so sinking the hips. Beautiful breath, now windmill the hands to the board. We're gonna step the left foot back into plank again, lower to the knees. And now, for our final challenge, we're gonna come up into headstand. Now, this is Sean's first headstand on the paddle board, and he has a little, even more challenge because his board is is not as stable as mine, but we're gonna see how it goes. He's gonna give it a try. So if you wanna try headstand, first of all, don't worry if you fall in, but if you've never done headstand on the ground, you might just wanna watch for sure and then see how it goes. So you interlace your fingers and your elbows are shoulder distance apart. And then we're going to place the crown of the head in between the forearms so that the crown of the head is nice and flat. And then you just walk your feet up and towards the face uh, you're going to lift the hips once you get the crown of the head on the board and then walk your feet up towards your face so that you uh, get your hips over the shoulders. So you want to have the hips, the shoulders, the head all in alignment. Grounding into the elbows, you can lift one foot at a time if you want. And then I like to do this variation with a wide leg um, lift. So extending the legs out and up, grounding into the elbows, use your core strength, use the strength in the back of the body and then use your control. Make sure you connect the feet to the head, to the elbows and really engage your lats. Your back muscles are really working here and the legs go straight above the head. And he knocked me over too. <laughs> You can see though, it's okay to fall in. It's quite fun actually. <laughs> awesome job you guys, yay. Namaste. <laughs>